Apple is gearing up to introduce the iPhone 16 series, with the Pro models set to be powered by the A18 Pro chipset. The tech giant has now entered the AI competition and has crafted some intriguing AI functionalities for the upcoming iPhones. The significance of neural processing units in a chipset for AI tasks is well known. The latest buzz is all about the prowess of the NPU in the Apple A18 Pro reports suggest that the NPU in the Apple A18 Pro surpasses the capabilities of the Apple M4 found in the latest iPad Pro. This robust NPU indicates a promising AI performance for the upcoming iPhones. The iPhone 16, particularly the A18 chip that is anticipated to drive it, might feature Apple's most advanced neural engine NPU yet, positioning the new iPhone as the company's top device for Apple intelligence and other AI applications. A source named Mapplegold shared on X that the neural engine in the A18 is incredibly powerful, asserting that it outshines the M4 chip in the iPad Pro 2024. The M4 boasts the fastest NPU among all current Apple devices based on the company's own assessments. And although it is currently exclusive to the iPad Pro, rumors suggest that the chip will soon make its way to Macs and MacBooks. While Mapplegold does not provide specific details about the capabilities of the 18 chip and their track record for accurate leaks is not established, the notion that it could outperform a Mac-class chip is quite remarkable. This development implies that the newly unveiled Apple Intelligence features will operate optimally on the new iPhones, although there are uncertainties regarding which of the new models will benefit from this enhanced NPU. Apple's latest announcement about the neural engine being a crucial component for Apple intelligence has got us thinking. Currently, only the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max are equipped to handle it. But with the upcoming iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus on the horizon, we're hoping they'll also be included. The mention of the A18 for all models, not just the Pro version, gives us hope that all iPhone 16s will benefit from this powerful NPU. Pair that with the rumored RAM capacity upgrade, and we might just see a minimum of 8 gigs to run Apple Intelligence on all models. New information about Apple's chip lineup has been leaked, indicating that all iPhone 16 models will be powered by the same A18 chip. However, there might be a separation between the A18 and A18 Pro models, with certain modules disabled or binned to distinguish between them. The A18 chip planned for the iPhone 16 Pro models is expected to come with an enhanced neural engine featuring significantly more cores for better AI and machine learning performance, along with a larger die size. To address overheating issues, the iPhone 16 lineup is rumored to introduce a new thermal design. Apple is reportedly developing a graphene thermal system for these models, while the iPhone 16 Pro variants could also feature a metal battery casing to enhance heat dissipation. Graphene, known for its superior thermal conductivity compared to copper, which is currently used in iPhone heat sinks. Moreover, the standard iPhone 16 models may receive an upgrade to 8 gigs of RAM, up from 6 gigs in the iPhone 15 models. This means that all four iPhone 16 models are likely to offer 8 gigs of RAM. iOS 18 is set to be a game changer for the iPhone. The reason behind this hype lies in the integration of AI, which is expected to play a major role in the upcoming features of iOS 18. One of the highlights will be a revamped Siri Assistant, aiming to rival Google's A-driven features on Pixel phones and Samsung's Galaxy AI tools showcased during the Galaxy S24 launch. With these exciting developments, Apple is poised to make its own unique mark in the tech world. Apple is truly committed to making technology accessible to everyone. With iOS 18 shaping up to be a significant update, even current iPhone models will benefit from its new capabilities. No doubt the rumors and leaks are going to continue between now and September, when another four iPhones are expected to launch, and they should come with iOS 18 and Apple Intelligence on board. But wait, there's a twist in that too. Apple is facing a formidable challenge from Huawei in China, as the latter's AI capabilities and faster chipsets are gaining momentum. However, there seems to be another hurdle for Apple's AI, known as Apple Intelligence, to be included in the highly anticipated iPhone 16 launch in China this year. According to a recent report, Chinese authorities have not yet granted approval for Apple to integrate AI features into their devices. This approval is necessary for companies to incorporate AI into their products in China. Although the iPhone 16 series is expected to come with a comprehensive Apple Intelligence suite, the lack of approval from Chinese authorities raises doubts about its inclusion. 
The situation is further complicated by the fact that none of the 117 generative AI products approved by the Office of the Central Cyberspace Affairs Commission are from foreign companies. This setback could pose a challenge for Apple, especially since they heavily rely on OpenAI's ChatGPT. To address this issue, Apple has reportedly engaged in discussions with Chinese AI partners, including Beidou. This strategy mirrors Samsung's approach when they collaborated with Beidou and MeToo AI after Google's Gemini was banned in China, following the launch of their AI-rich Galaxy S24 series. Smartphone manufacturers often tailor their features to suit specific markets, either downgrading or upgrading them accordingly. For example, Apple has not introduced Apple TV Plus for Vision Pro in China, despite it being the company's largest market outside the US. Additionally, the iCloud service in China utilizes servers owned by state-owned enterprises. Returning to the topic of AI features, it remains uncertain whether the iPhone 16 series will secure a local AI partner in time for its highly anticipated launch this fall. Apple has already experienced a significant decline in production in China over the past year. The company is banking on the AI features of the iPhone 16 series to regain momentum, but only time will reveal whether the Chinese population will have access to these features. Now that we've heard everything about the iOS 18 upgrade coming later this year, we can turn our attention back to the hardware. And the design of the iPhone 16 flagship, due in September, has leaked again, this time through what seems to be a case mold. A short video of this clip was posted to social media by Is Universe, who is one of the more reliable tipsters out there. Nothing is official until Apple confirms it, but this does match up with previous leaks we've seen. It appears we're looking at a case template for either the iPhone 16 or the iPhone 16 Plus, as it's quite tricky to judge the size from this quick clip. It's most probably the larger model, but it might be the standard one. There's still some debate over the screen size the iPhone 16 Plus is going to come with, and from what we're heard so far, every iPhone model could be changing its screen size this year, perhaps up to 6.9 inches with the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Whether this case mold is for the iPhone 16 or the iPhone 16 Plus, both phones are expected to sport the same design. The only difference between the two handsets should be the screen size and configuration, the dimensions, and the battery capacity. You can see here the vertical camera alignment that's been previously rumored. It'll be a change from the diagonal arrangement on the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Plus, and it's apparently going to enable the new versions to record spatial photos and videos. There also seems to be room here for the new capture button that's supposedly coming to all the iPhone 16 models this year. If the rumors are true, the new button will give users more control over how photos and videos are taken. More things remain similar. There are still plenty of upgrades with the new hardware to power it better and brighter displays. Along with the new battery thermal technology, this should really enhance the experience and work well with the new A features. Now, of course, because of all the similarities to its predecessor, it's probably not going to make anyone with an iPhone 15 rush for an upgrade, but for anyone with an older iPhone or looking to get their first iPhone, that it's going to be a great choice. Now, of course, as we approach the launch, more and more information is going to continue to come in, and I'll be sharing it as soon as it does, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing in the future.